This week, we're going to be learning about artist Adam Hillman, and he considers himself to be an object arranger and has amassed a huge following on Instagram, almost a half a million followers. Follow him for his colorful and geometric artworks that he carefully arranges and photographs. He takes everyday objects and turns them into colorful pattern creations. So let's take a look at what he's done. So the most common theme in his work is that he arranges elements that are perishable and prone to expire quickly. His art assumes that fruit, candy, bacon, and eggs are not things that should be eaten right away, but are best suited for creating mesmerizing works of art. And the really interesting and crazy thing is that all of his work is completed without any digital manipulation. So he never goes in and photoshops anything. It's all done in real life. His newer works focus on color, contrast, and gradients. By concentrating on contrast and gradients, Hillman is exploring how other characteristics of the objects can build compelling compositions. This work is really beautiful in the fact that he's doing a dual pattern. We have the chevron pattern and then the repeating repetition of the crayons. He's very accurately cut across the crayons to create this, these diagonal lines um, by removing the wrapping away. And his craftsmanship, as well as his arrangement of colors, makes a beautiful movement throughout the work. His older works cut pieces that combine one color objects over a geometric cut paper background. I love the dual relationship between the paper and the objects themselves. I find that really interesting and very, very cool to look at. He also recreates art history masterpieces. So we have Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa, Vincent van Gogh's Starry Night, and Gustav Klimt's The Kiss. In Gustav Klimt's The Kiss work, he's um, known for putting gold leaf into the background, so I think it's very fitting that he's chosen gold Hershey Kisses. It's also very cute that he's using Hershey Kisses because the title of the work is The Kiss. Hillman is inspired by various artists, designers, and movements found in a lot of his art books that he has in his home. He also finds inspiration by looking online at various subreddits, Tumblr accounts, and Instagrams. So that's going to be what we do for this project. For your first assignment, you're going to compare and contrast various artworks by three different artists. In addition to Adam Hillman, I want you to look at Kristen Meyer and Caroline Seltz's work. Kristen Meyer is an amazing artist and designer. She makes mind-bending geometric arrangements of everything from pennies to flowers to crackers. And she is one of Hillman's biggest inspirations. Caroline South is a British artist who creates beautifully balanced works with jewelry, makeup, food and drink, and various products like shoes, photos, envelopes, flowers, and purses, with color being the main focus of her work. So with this first assignment, the first thing that I want you to do is I want you to read these two articles written by My Modern Met. After you've read both articles, I want you to answer these questions. For Kristen Meyer, how is Kristen Meyer's composition similar or different to Hillman's? And how do the titles enhance Meyer's work? To find out the titles of Meyer's work, I recommend you going to her Instagram account which I believe is KM Selvage Design. Her first post that, or comment in her post, um, gives the title and they're quite fun. For Caroline South, I want you to answer the questions, where does Caroline find her objects? How does Caroline's work give importance to the objects she's found? And how is her work similar or different to Hillman's? The last part of this first assignment is to find three images from each artist that inspire you. So find three images from Meyer's work, and that's her Instagram account that I would recommend looking at. Find three images of South's work, and that is her website you can go to. And then for Hillman's work, you can visit his Instagram account, which is at um, Wittenry, and um, he has a ton of images that you can reference. After you've done your research, then you get to start making your own work. 
So I have a couple different design ideas that you can use to begin um, designing the piece. You do not have to follow these. Um, you can if you want. They're just to help you spark those creative juices. So the first idea you could create from is you can cut pieces that combine one color objects over a geometric cut paper background. This is very similar to what Hillman did in his um, earliest works. You could also cut and rearrange the same object to create a geometric pattern. We're seeing um, a banana cut and creating a really interesting pattern on the right. This is one of Meyer's works and she's actually using uncooked spaghetti noodles. You can create a gradient and a geometric pattern, or you could create a design inside a shape of your choice. Myers is um, most known for creating her work in circles or squares. I love how she's cutting out the leaves on a circular axis to help create the shape of that circle. You can create a design using objects of one color, and you can cut objects to create layered patterns. For the chocolate coins, they're being placed in a pattern, but he's also repeating a cut out pattern of that square. You could also recreate a master painting. I love the Guernica one that was done by Pablo Picasso. It looks like he almost used peanut butter and Nutella to recreate that. I'm sure he fully enjoyed eating that piece once he was done. I want to eat that, it looks delicious. As you can see though, he's utilizing toothpicks and paper clips and crackers, anything that he has around his house, that's what he's using in the work. And that's what you should be doing too. Just use what you have in your home. It can be things that you find outside again or things that are in your pantry or your junk drawer. Use whatever you have in abundance. The last part of this project, I want you to provide a title for your work. Now there's three different approaches you can do for your title. The first one, is that it can be witty and funny. So here Myers is titling this work Banana Split. Your title could be descriptive. This one's titled Cheese on Crackers, Circles on Circles. I like this one because it gives you two different perspectives when looking at this work. You could also create a title that alludes to other subject matter to add extra layers and meaning to the works. Choose the intent for a title and make it creative, but keep your title between three to six words. And most of all, have fun, be creative, and give the time this artwork needs to make it look amazing.